So in this video we're going to introduce homogeneous functions. So the idea is if we have a function of two variables x and y we say that the function of is homogeneous of degree n if you plug in xt and yt for x and y if this simplifies to t to the nth power times the original function f of xy then we say that the that the function f of xy is homogeneous of degree n. So here's an example. We want to verify that this function is homogeneous of degree 3. So what we do is we start by plugging in xt and yt for the x and the y. We then substitute the xt and the yt into the original function. So everywhere we see an x, we get xt squared. Everywhere we see a y, we replace that y with y times t. So minus 4x cubed, replace the x with xt, plus 3x, replace the x with xt, times y squared, and replace the y with yt. <clears throat> then want to simplify things so we have an x squared times a y and we have a t squared times a t is a t cubed minus 4 we have an x cubed times a t cubed plus 3 x times y squared so we have x y squared and t times t squared is t cubed and then we want to notice that t cubed shows up in each of the three terms so we factor that t cubed off which is going to leave behind x squared times y minus 4x cubed plus 3xy squared and then we want to inspect this and if we inspect this and see that it's just the original equation f of xy then we can replace it with t cubed times f of xy and so we were able to plug xt and yt into the function of two variables x and y and the result was that we got t to the third power times f of xy so this function is indeed homogeneous of degree 3. So in this one we want to verify that we have a function f of xy that's homogeneous of degree 0. So we'll play the same game that we just did. We'll replace x with xt and y with yt. We then substitute those into the equation. So we're going to get, we had y over x, but now we'll have yt over xt plus a one. And then t over t is going to be equal to one. So that will simplify to yx plus one. And we want to notice that we could write this as t to the zeroth power, or let's let's even take a do an extra step. This is the same as one times y over x plus one. And so we'll notice two things. We know that t to the zero equals one as long as t isn't zero, and y over x plus one is the original function f of xy. So we have a function that's homogeneous of degree zero. In the last example, we want to show that this isn't homogeneous. So to do that, we plug in, we replace, sorry, the x with xt and the y with yt. We substitute into our equation, so we'll get xt quantity squared plus replace the y with yt. So this is just x squared t squared plus y times t. And T, show, t to the first power shows up as a common factor which we could pull out. That's t to the first. But when we do that, a t gets left behind. So the uh, resulting equation here isn't the original equation. So what we see is that this isn't going to be equal to t to the first times f of xy. So we have a function that's not homogeneous.